Hello everyone, my name is Frey Darkus, and today is Friday the 13th, and I hope you guys are having a very unlucky day. Today I'm bringing you my Black Ops 2 wishlist. I originally bought my Modern Warfare 2, I mean my Modern Warfare 3 wishlist, on Friday the 13th too, so let's just keep this a tradition and make my wishlist on Friday the unlucky 13th. Uh, this is a really old Black Ops gameplay we actually got um, shortly after I witnessed someone in my top five get a really nasty ladder shot from the opposite um, little building as you can see on that side he got a nasty little la ladder shot in the top five and I actually shortly after watching that I tried to make my own ladder shot and only took me a couple games and this is the result you'll see the ladder shot coming up soon now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the liberty of this guy and play to talk about what I want to see in Black Ops 2. Now Black Ops was originally one a uh, really really fun game when I played the campaign I thought it was just outstanding and I really loved the multiplayer. Yes it, it, it is without its kinks kinks but you know with what what I'm like hoping that it, it'll have it should resolve most of its kinks. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mention the few things that I really enjoyed out of Black Ops which was theater and I know on Wii we can't handle theater because of the fact that we don't have enough RAM. Hell, we can't even handle kill cams. But uh, recently, I saw an article about our little RAM upgrade that could make that a possibility. Of course, with that RAM upgrade, we should be able to manage getting theater and other stuff. But we'll see if that actually ends up coming into fruition for Black Ops 2, and we'll see if the developers even care. And I also want to mention how much I loved the creator emblems for our uh, Black Ops where you could actually create your own emblems and you know it was all fancy and I loved making mine in on PS3 and it was really really fun creating your own unique emblem to describe the person you are and a lot of people created actual like you know pornographic looking emblems which I guess you know kind of is good that we didn't get it on Wii frankly because I was getting an pretty tired of all the dicks on Black Ops if you know what I mean and you know but I'm pretty sure that the Wii can handle it I really don't know why it was never included on the original Wii version of Black Ops because I, frankly I thought I mean it's just a simple emblem creator I'm pretty sure the Wii could handle it it's it's just an image based on shapes so I don't know what a lag right but I'm pretty sure we can handle it so I would love to see that in the next Black Ops as well. And I actually want to talk about the map packs since we technically sh were going to get map packs for Black Ops, but we never got them. Nor did we get them in Modern Warfare 3. So whether or not we'll be getting it on the next Call of Duty is, is be, uh, I have no idea because it's pretty easy to see that either the developers or the publisher or Nintendo doesn't want the map packs on Wii. Whichever one of them is. You guys really need to understand that we pay good money for it, so why are we getting a complete hacked version of it? And talking about hackers, that brings me to my next point. Hackers have completely ruined the game for me. Every single game I've gotten, hackers have ruined it. Reflex. Before Reflex came out, people were already putting gameplays of it on the internet because they, you know, they stole the game from the internet. So, hackers really affected me there, especially since I had been following the game for months and trying to bring uh, YouTube the most like up-to-date reflex information. And I wanted to be the first one to bring the gameplay. I got it at, uh, as soon as I possibly could, and you know, other people already had the game by uh, cheating purposes, and they really pissed me off, frankly. And then Black Ops came out. whoop de doo Hacked. I actually, man, I actually ended up getting my account deranked, which really pissed me off. And look at Modern Warfare 3, you can't get into a game without finding any hacked lobbies. I mean, honestly, I, I, I personally thought that was bullshit, but I went on. Hacked lobby after hacked lobby after hacked lobby. I would spawn somewhere and get shot. I would have fucking invincibility people. I'd have people shooting me around corners. I'd see predators flying everywhere. Basically, hacking has been ruining this game. Look at that account hack, account hopping. Are you kidding me? Now we can't even freaking play our accounts. Are all our friends, and, and that's really not, not a big deal, honestly. I could just create a new account, but all my friends, I have to re add every single one of my friends again. Some are strangers I don't even really know on YouTube, which um, 
the only means by communication was actually that hacked account. So they're completely screwing us over. Among that, there's also freaking lag that completely cripples this game, which you clearly saw in this gameplay. I was pretty freaking laggy this game. And on top of that, there's also cheating and exploits and all this stuff. Most of this can be resolved by dedicated servers. And a lot of people think dedicated servers aren't possible. Look at Battlefield 3. Dedicated servers for consoles. Now you have great, hardly ever lagging servers with people that can actually ban, kick, spend whatever people from that server. So sure, hackers won't be completely removed from online experience, but at least we who actually pay good money for this game can play the game without having fear of getting hacked. Now that, that's something I really, really want to see come to weed. Whether or not dedicated servers will be on Black Ops 2, that's definitely something I really want to see on the Wii because since we are the most hacked of any console. So that's definitely something I really want to see, as well as cheating and exploits. That can be solved simply by developers being more in tune with the community. You can find any glitch on the internet and then you can actually start working on the process to fix them. Now we do have hot fixes and, and patches. Now that's what I, I want to see that continue and I want to see that be faster because of course with all the hacking and cheating and underground glitches, this really needs to be fixed. If, there, if it were my game personally, I would not let other strangers mess it up for me or anyone else. It's it's my creation. I'm not going to let cheaters ruin it, right? So I would, you know, constantly be trying to fix the game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay and I know my wish list is pretty short. Main, mainly it's just some things from Black Ops that I really liked that weren't in on the Wii version and I would like to see continue in Black Ops 2 as well as dedicated servers basically resolving most of the issues that we can have. So anyways guys, this has been Freight Darkness and if you haven't even checked out my other two videos, go ahead and check them out. I really appreciate it and if you have a moment, leave a like. That really helps me out. Let's me know that you guys care for the video and shadow out.